What's going on gamers? Today, it's all about sword enchantments. Before we get into the sword enchantments, gamers, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ding that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our content. Alright, so Minecraft, right? You break stuff, make stuff, and break shinier stuff with that stuff you made. But wait, there's more. You can also kill things. My favorite things to kill in Minecraft are animals that can be turned into food, by the way. Yummy. You're going to need tools to kill things efficiently, unless you're Saitama from One Punch Man, of course. And since Minecraft has decent gun control in the form of banning them, you're going to have to use something sharper. A sword. Swords were great for stabbing, which usually results in death. But can we make swords better? Of course we can, through enchantments. Gather your lapis gamers and let's get enchanting. Are you ready gamers? I am. Got my enchantment table and lapis right here. No it isn't cheated in, the sign says so, right? Anyway, we're going to be going over all the ways you can enchant a sword in no particular order. So buckle up gamers, here are all the sword enchantments that you can apply. Starting off fairly weak, you might as well not have an enchantment on your sword if you get this one. Bane of Arthropods, the enchantment for the guy who stays up all night and tries to get an hour of sleep before work because it's better than nothing. All this enchantment does is increase damage done to arthropods. What are arthropods? Basically, bugs. Bees, endermites, silverfish, and both kinds of spiders. The effect does nothing on other types of mobs. This and smite are probably the weakest enchantments that you can get. Oh, yeah, smite. Smite is basically bane of arthropods, but for undead mobs. This includes drowned, husks, zombie villagers, phantoms, skeletons, skeleton horses, stray, the wither, wither skeletons, Zoglins, normal zombies, zombie horses, and zombie piglins. So it's a bit more useful than Bane of Arthropods, but still pretty limited. Yeah, now we're talking Fire Aspect. It does exactly as it says on the tin. It lights mobs, all mobs, on fire. Each level adds four seconds of burning to the target. You may or may not know that when food, I mean animals, burn to death, they drop cooked food. This is no different with Fire Aspect, so feel free to enjoy freshly cooked steak and pork after murdering cows and pigs. This is probably my favorite enchantment to be honest. Knockback will basically knock things back, so even if it doesn't die, you can run away. If you've ever seen a chicken and wanted to just send it bro, well, now is your chance. By the way, watch this. I found this level 255 knockback sword. Let's see what happens. Have you ever killed a zombie and thought, man, one rotten flesh is great, but I'd rather have two? Me neither, but it isn't just limited to rotten flesh. Looting increases chances of mobs dropping armor by 1% per level, increases the chances of uncommon items dropping by trying again if the first attempt failed, and increases the maximum number of things that can be dropped by 1 per level. Mending is pretty cool. Basically, any XP earned is used to repair your tools, and any extra is given to your XP bar. So it may not help you kill things easier, but it will help you kill more things. Sharpness is probably the most useful enchantment. It simply makes your tools do more damage to everything. Simple and effective. Unbreaking is useful because it, quite simply, makes your tools last a lot longer. So, just like with mending, you can kill more things. This last enchantment isn't really an enchantment to be honest. It's a curse. Dun dun dun. Basically, if you die, say goodbye to whatever tool is cursed because it'll despawn immediately, even with keep inventory on. Phew, that's a lot of enchantments. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of all the ways you can improve your stabbing abilities. Honestly, you know that you're a pro in whatever world you're in if you're enchanting things. Keep on enchanting gamers, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.